Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we're looking at Elmo Inu. So Elmo, obviously, everybody knows Elmo, right? So I love the name. Uh, so let's see here, looking at my notes, they do have a pre-sale coming up. They did have an audit done on this pass with low severity issues. They do have a KYC certificate that I will share with you. The team's not docs, but they do, again, uh, have a KYC completed. So uh, so with that said, uh, let's see here. This is the white paper. So I'm going to kind of jump around for a minute. So there's only six pages, you know, so not a whole lot to the white paper. But again, it's a meme project, so not really expecting a whole lot in terms of the white paper. Uh, this is the KYC verification certificate, uh, you know, verified through GEMPAD. And uh, here is the pre-sale, so it is whitelisted. Uh, so that's going to be starting here in just under 40 minutes. And it's a 200 BNB 200 B &B, a hard cap, you know, on this. I do like the fact that the minimum is 0 0.1 and the max is 1. So staying pretty small with this, so I do like that. Uh, we'll see uh, what it looks like in terms of how that runs. Um, you know, I don't really get a whole lot real concerned when it comes to whitelisted um, uh, pre-sales just because, I mean, sometimes they don't go ahead and fill the way that you think they're going to fill and uh, they can't open to the public, you know, so, um, so yeah, like I said, for me personally, I don't ever go, you know, um, I, I just don't get real nervous, you know, when it comes to maybe wanting to get into a project and it's whitelisted. So they've got 615, you know, addresses whitelisted. So, um, and anytime, so obviously they've over, oversubscribed the whitelist, you know, but you can't imagine that everybody's going to go ahead and um, contribute the max. However, when you are looking at an oversubscribed whitelist, um, you know, basically there's a better chance of filling it. And that's the reason why projects do oversubscribe, because um, obviously it's 200 beans and they've got 615 addresses. But um, I don't necessarily, again, get too concerned about that. However, I mean, if it fills, it fills, you know, that's fine. But the nice thing is that it's not like you're looking at you know, huge max contributions. It's, you know, one being, you know, for the contribution uh, for the max, right? So pre-sale rate, you know, you're looking at the same pre-sale rate index rate. So um, pre-sellers aren't getting a better deal uh, than anybody that would get, you know, they get gets in at launch. So um, they're just getting access to it early. So just understand that. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it, you know, on the pre-sale, it's through GEMPAD. I'll go ahead and I'll make sure I leave the link in the description and I'll try to go ahead and get this uploaded before the pre-sale so that you got a chance to take a look at it, um, real quickly, you know, before the pre-sale goes live. So if we go back to the main page, we see Elmo Inu, we see the KYC link, trade now, chart. So obviously there are going to be some things that aren't linked yet. You know, the dashboard, I mean, that's not linked. Elmo Swap, that's not linked. The audit is linked, roadmaps, um, so we see there's a link for that, and the FAQ is a link for that. So, And then we see the contract coming soon uh, as well. So it goes on to say, what is Elmo Inu? It's the world's hottest meme coin dedicated to the mission of providing value to investors by supporting charities that benefit the well-being of children to pay homage uh, to the great philanthropic work that Sesame Street has done for children globally. So, I mean, love everything about that, right? And uh, so, again, here is a white paper button link, and then we see roadmap and tokenomics. Um, and so we see also uh, right here the phases, you know, to their roadmap. So I like how they kind of consolidated all of this in one. Um, yeah, I think it works. So um, we can see, you know, buy and sell. So 10% on the buy, 12% on the sells. And um, we see the taxes broken down for each of those. Okay, so uh, in, in phase one, we're seeing private sale pre-sale marketing campaign, the launch, meme development, and third-party audit. Uh, phase two, we see the launch, daily rocket race prizes, listings, CoinGecko, and CoinMarketCap, and then billboards, donation program. Phase three, looking at influencers, uh, viral memes, uh, the credit card that's coming, I guess, in phase three. Phase four, build, uh, building global... Um, uh, presence, almost swap, community outreach, 
then we see dashboard and wallet tracker and in phase five a release of swap giveaways meme exposure 100k donation to children's uh, charity so not a ton of utility going on you know with this but they do have some interesting things going on right so the credit card i think is interesting the swap i think maybe this could be done a lot earlier than phase four um you know, releasing the swap, I don't, like I said, why release them in phase five? The other thing I would say is I don't know when this stuff is being done. Like, what months constitute phase two, three, four, and five? Um, are we going to be doing a V2, you know, on the roadmap? Uh, is there going to be development beyond this phase five? And we don't even know. Maybe phase five ends in 2022. Um, I don't know if it's going into 2023 at all. So there's some questions that I have here. I'd like to know cur exactly currently where they are in terms of development. Uh, it's just some signals that would say, hey, this is what's, you know, being done right now. Here's what's pending. Here's what's ongoing. Here's what's been completed. As I've mentioned on other roadmaps that I've talked about in terms of crypto projects covered on this channel. So, uh, and then we get an FAQ, you know, down here as well and get some information in regards to the team. Not a docs team, you know, but again, they do have their KYC and uh, a contact us, you know, button here that's not linked. So um, that'll take it, you know, take us through uh, the Elmo Inu project. Um, I do, you know, obviously I've already gone ahead and shared my feedback in regards to this. Um, no uh, huge, you know, red flags, you know, for me per se, but just some things that I'd like to see them do, um, you know, concerning uh, what we covered, you know, here in the video. So I uh, thank you guys so much for watching uh, this, um, you know, this content on this particular project and continuing to support the channel by engaging, you know, in the comments, liking and subscribing to the channel. Um, don't really have anything else to add on this one. They, uh, as you know, the priest is coming up very, very soon. So like I said, I'll try to go ahead and get this video out to you guys. Um, uh, so that you've got it uh, in time to look at before the pre-sale goes live. All right, you guys, enjoy the day.